This video is meant to show you how to use the toggle tool in the Lightorama sequence editor. So this button right here is the toggle tool. So let's click on it and then we'll select some uh, some channels and some time range and let and uh, that turns on that selected area. So you might think well it's the same as the on tool, but that's not true. Let's see what happens if I toggle the same area again. It turns them off now. So it turns anything that was on off, and it turns anything that was off on. So I can make a more complicated pattern of things that are on and off. And if I toggle all of this, it changes the things that were on off, and it changes the things that were off on. And if I toggle this area again, it brings us back to what we had. Now, there's a little bit more to the toggle tool. First, let's, uh, let's wipe this out to have a clean canvas. So we'll take the off tool and wipe that area out. Now let's uh, put in, let's say, a fade up over here and a fade down here and some shimmers and a couple of twinkles and a set intensity over here and let's apply the toggle tool to all of this. All of those things were turned off and again all of the off things were turned on. So it's not just that the toggle tool uh, turns things that are on off, it's really that it turns anything that is not off off. So if we toggle this area again it's no longer fades and shimmers and twinkles and set intensities, it's just on. Because we changed the fades to off via the toggle tool, and then applying the toggle tool again changed the offs to ons. So fades became offs and offs became ons. Now we can toggle back and forth between these and it'll stay in these two different states uh, over and over no matter how many times we toggle this. So that's about it for the toggle tool. I hope this helps.